Maybe a really small baby cat. No, it's not working. <laughs> guys welcome back to the vlog oh my gosh the lens keeps a few moments later i hope ever you can see me pretty good i'm gonna hit the focus button um my lens will not stay clean i'm sorry i don't know what's up i might have to buy another one i, I really don't know but welcome back to the vlog uh, i noticed last time in the video i shot earlier that y'all just watched because i think i'm gonna roll this all into one video if i do uh where i said i was gonna go fishing and i didn't because it was raining well there's a lot sunnier skies today as y'all can tell by my camera probably not focusing very well and uh it's a beautiful day, so we're going to go fishing again, but this time I'm bringing Bryce and maybe Paulcel if he decides to show up, two of my awesome good friends. We're just going to go crappie fishing today, because last time I found the crappie hole, and I got like 10 of them in a matter of like 20 minutes. It was awesome. So, i got to go get the canoe. I've already got the fishing poles rigged up in the back of the truck, and I'll show you that. So, this is the Zebco dock line I was telling you all about. Um, I had this one rigged up for, I think I had a big hook on this one last time, and this time I've decided to put a small hook on it and make it a uh, super basic crappie hook. I have on there with a weight and a bobber. The bo the weight's just there so it actually sinks because the crappie are down pretty low, I noticed, and they bite better when they're lower. So this one, same setup. No weight on this one, though. I, I think I'm going to add one because it needs... No, it has a weight. I'm not going to add a bobber on this one, though, because it's for my friend, and he'll just drop it down there, and it'll be fine. So um, I need the bobber because it doesn't go down very well. I don't know. I, I, I love this rod and reel, but it's... it's eh. They're both really crappy, but it's going to be fine. Um, I just got the canoe's water dumped out, and we're about to go grab it real quick, and y'all already saw that last time, so I'm just going to cut to when we are at the lake, and the boat is in the water. He has arrived! He's here! Yeah! Bust my ass. I'm one too. <laughs> he got in. He got in. Okay, He's in the boat. All right, and we have the better oar, too, because these oars are, like, cheap as crap. Oh, All right, so now we are in the boat. We are still... we got to get through this grass now. And it's going to be very comedical to see us get through this, but you guys sadly won't get to see that because I have to paddle, and holding a camera and paddling is a terrible idea. So, did you get the worms? Yes? Okay, good. Worms right there. Worms are there, so we're good. We got the bait. Uh, he got. He bought me some worms. Thanks, Bryce. Awesome friend. Get your friends that buy you bait to go fishing with because it's great. Oh, well, you didn't buy the ones from Walmart. Those are the. Are those from Walmart? Yeah. Oh, okay. Same They're different then. Yeah. Of the ones I got last time were huge. Like, these are actually pretty small. Got one! Rice got one! Yeah. That's a. Yeah, I don't know what this is, y'all. Y'all comment down below what y'all think this is. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, don't get oh, it. We've been catching these all day, guys. And I just kind of stopped to film, so now that he got one, I was going to film. <laughs> but this is what we're catching. You gotta grab them. So they have these little things that'll get you. If you're not careful like that good old hook out of this. I don't know what it is. It has big gills though. I wasn't catching as many of these the other day. I was catching the other kind. Which is crazy. I was catching a bunch of... Oh, this is gonna suck. I might have to do the foot method. So since I don't... Oh, I don't have a... Uh, don't recommend this, guys. If you're, you're doing fishing, this is not how you're supposed to do this, but I don't have anything else to hold them with and I don't want to get spiked, so... And I need leverage to get the hook out because it's really deep in him. There we go. There we go. Got it. Tore them apart, but I got it. Yeah, there we go. This hook doesn't have the thing. And you can save that worm, too. Come here, baby. Don't flap. Don't flap. Don't flap. Shoot. Now he's too far. Oh, gosh. Don't do that. No, oh, shoot. There he goes. Now he's flapping everywhere. There he goes. Come on, baby. I knew he was going to do it. He's losing strength. There we go. Here it is. Push pressure. Pressure on the back tail. I'm going to squeeze my hand in the back. He's going to flinch. Watch. I think I'm about to tell him to get spiked so bad. All right, there's our catch. There it is. Good job, Bryce. Got another one already? Thought I did. I might have one on mine. So that's pretty much how the whole fishing expedition is going so far, and that's why I'm not filming it as much, is because we really have, we've caught like five or six fish, but it's all been stuff like that, and it's it's slow. So I'll get back to you guys when we actually catch something. Bryce got one in the stomach. Got one right in the stomach. Is he bleeding? I bled one out one time. Wow. Trying to bring him in, yeah, so I know. It was, it was brutal. Look at that. Oh, it's saying it's something. It's very on him. Like, oh, well, then just pop it off. Well, I'm water. trying. It's a pretty good size one. Oh, he man. pooed. Ugh. <laughs> no, that's probably the excess of your worm. No, he pooped. <laughs> Stop moving. 
Hey, still alive. Good, save. And save the worm. And save the worm. They're just not, they're just not biting for me. Bryce has gotten like five or six, I've gotten like two. Ridiculous, and y'all haven't seen any of it on video either. Bryce doesn't fish a lot. I think it's this pole, and I think it's because my hook, I, I cut the, um, I was telling you earlier, I took it and I smashed the barb down, and that's probably what screwed me. I should go to the truck and get another one and see, but that's probably what screwed me. Got one! So what is this, like, six? Oh my goodness. He's about to catch one. Doing all his now. Look, I got another one, y'all. I wish I could film all of this, but I really can't, so I wish I had a GoPro. This is awesome. So we caught another one. I'm gonna put him back now. Good one. Got another one. Bryce is about to pick up another one. Come on, Bryce. Get one. Get one. Ah. Oh. Dude, you're catching fish. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the last worm. We're on the last worm, guys. We gotta catch a fish on this one once we're done. <sighs> Still biting at it? Yes. Is there a worm on there? Yeah, a little, okay, little piece. Oh, I got one! Oh, we got one! Yeah, I got it on video too! Yes! Oh, and it's not that small either. Cool. That's what she said. <laughs> well, you guys saw it here first. We did awesome fishing. Bryce did great. He caught more than I did. I think I only caught like five or six fish. He caught at least nine or ten. Uh, we were fishing for small stuff. I surprisingly don't think I saw any crappie. I think we only caught with small bass and stuff uh, and that kind of thing. So, yeah. What do you, what do you, what do you, he's smiling over there at me. Why do you think he's smiling at me? Huh, well, he's, making, he's making fun of something over there. <laughs> yeah. So we're paddling back now. Thanks for bringing in the anchor. You're welcome. Is he gonna be able to get out of the boat or not? That's the real question now. Made it back to the truck, uh, got all the poles and stuff ready. He's gonna meet me at the house and then we're gonna probably go to McDonald's. Boat is not secured properly, so it might fall out. And <laughs> I just moved and hit the brake and it already. Hit the brake and it nearly fell out. Really? <laughs> I couldn't uh. tell. Great work, buddy. Hey, man, this thing's dirty. Donald's? Up to you. Alright, I'm gonna drop this off the house and we'll go there. Park it and I'm eight. Park it real quick and come see how I get this out of the back of the truck. It's hilarious. Oh, a tree. I said, there goes your clutch and your I dumped it hard. Were they spinning? I said, there goes the tree. <laughs> I know. I usually come I usually come sideways if I can hear. Watch, watch, watch. I hit it like right here, trying to get it to drift, and I wasn't turned. And so when I did it, it, it didn't really. You throw that in the barn. It didn't really uh, do what I wanted it to do. Instead of going to eat, we're going to take truck pictures in the backyard because I'm going to have some fun with this. For the food, bro. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So fun fact, guys. My friend has a truck exactly like that one. It's a hundred anniversary edition Ford F-150. Except for that one is in like mint condition, and his is beat to hell. So it's weird to look at that truck and see it, it's like mint condition. Like it's it's nice. Yeah, Dylan has a, his truck is exactly like that, but his is like beat to hell. So we're headed. We're headed back to the house now. Thanks, bro. Bye, boss. Good to see you. I'm answer too. Been fun. Been real. Boss, I'll let you know up. when the vlog's up and you can watch it. It's going to be good. All right. See you around. Bye, boss. Yep. Okay, man. Bye. You too, man. Stay safe.
And just like that, he's gone, ending a great day. Bryce is an awesome guy. We've been friends since like junior high, and I'm a senior now, so like six years, seven years at least. Been going to the same church. It's been fun. It's about you like the video? You liked it? Dislike it if you disliked it? See y'all later. Oh, and don't forget, you can hit the button down here and subscribe, and it'll be great. You can subscribe and see everything. Don't miss a video. Subscribe right now, and you will not regret it because I'm going to keep posting videos. I'm dedicated to this, so I will see you guys in the next one.